Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. So I've got another ring um, inspired set here. This is a Labradite ring made by Just A Ring Thing. Um, I previously did an Opal inspired tutorial by another ring from Just A Ring Thing. Um, so I really wanted to do some nails to match. Obviously these are now quite grown out. I did them a little while ago. <laughs> Um, so, and I got um, asked to do a tutorial for them, so that's what we're going to do today. So if you want to find out how I did these nails inspired by my ring, then just stay tuned. So this is the Labradite ring here that was custom made by Just A Ring Thing. So I've got quite a few rings now from Charlotte. Um, but I really, really wanted a Labradite ring. I just love the fact that it's got this kind of rainbow effect running through it. It's really gorgeous and unique. And this is the king setting um, that she's done here. So I really wanted to do some nails inspired by this. So as you can see, I've got kind of the rainbow effect running through. And then also I did put some flakes on as well. So let's get into the tutorial. So the first thing that I'm going to do is use Magpie's Black Betty. So this is the pure black. So I'm just going to do a coat. And I'm going to pop that in my lamp for 60 seconds. Then once that first layer has been cured, I'm just going to do a second coat and cure in the lamp for 60 seconds again so that we've got a really nice solid black base then once that's been fully cured i'm just going to get some of the magpie prep and dehydrate and wipe off the inhibition layer and then i'm going to go in with my magpie full foiled foil gel we're not exactly going for a proper full foiled look but we want to add as big a pieces of the foil as we possibly can so i'm just going to add a nice even layer of this cap the free edge and cure it for 60 seconds in my lamp. Then I'm gonna be using the Magpie foil in Ava Grace, which is this beautiful kind of oil slick rainbow effect. So once that's been fully cured, I've then got my bit of foil and I'm just gonna place that straight on top and I'm just gonna use my finger just to rub the foil over. Now, like I said, we don't need an, a real absolute full foiled effect, but obviously we do want some big chunks. So now I'm going to rip it off. So you can see I've got that really nice bit in the middle. If you do want to just fill in the sides, you can just press the foil down just to fill in any gaps that you want to but it's okay to have that kind of crackled look as well, because if you look at the ring, you can see it's kind of got those cracks. Now, although this looks absolutely beautiful as it is, it's a bit too shiny for what we want. So on top of that, I'm gonna use the new 40 Denier, which is like a glass black. So it's a nice sheer black. And I'm just going to do A nice thin layer on the top of the foil and as you can see it's kind of not dulled it down but it's just muted it slightly for us but you can actually see more of the colors running through I think than when it's just pure shiny which is obviously for the effect that we want so now I'm going to put this in the lamp for 60 seconds. Then just to add a little bit of sparkle to sort of the outer corners, I'm going to use the new Magpie Flakes in Sorel. So this was from the Fall in Love collection and these are stunning. These are actually, I think, got to be some of my favourite flakes. 
So now that that's been fully cured, just getting the flakes, I'm just going to dip my Magpie Detailer brush in and I'm literally just going to add some of the flakes to the tip of the nail, not too much, and then just a few up into the corner like that. And I'm just going to use the detailer brush just to pat them down. Like that. So we just want to seal everything in with Magpie Give Me Strength first. So just a nice, even, floaty layer on the top to encapsulate the flakes and obviously as well to protect the foil. And we're going to cure that now for 60 seconds. And just to finish off, I'm just going to use the Magpie Like a Diamond top coat. just to completely seal all of that in. And then I'm going to cure it in my lamp for 60 seconds. And once that's been fully cured, I'm just gonna wipe off the tacky layer. And then there you have it. So it's really quick and easy to do. And obviously each nail will look different because of the different um, ways that you can just um, place the foil on and obviously different parts and sections of the foil as well but you can see it just looks really really stunning and you can really see that kind of rainbow effect going through. So I hope that you like this tutorial guys please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all again soon. Bye!